Okay, YouTube, this is my 2004 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. I've had this car for a total of about one year now, actually over a year. And uh, it's been a great car so far. Little things here and there I've had to replace. But I mean, after all, it is a used police car. Things are going to go bad on it. So, so far I have really no regrets. It um, had good new tires on it when I bought it. But they are the Goodyear RSAs. And I'm sure, you, you know, whoever's watching this video probably knows about these cars. These RSAs do suck. They're not really good tires. At least not in the rain. Dry, dry uh, pavement, they're pretty good. But rain, they suck. Anything wet, they're horrible in the snow. But, uh, yes, it's basically in my car. Nothing really special about it. Me and my dad out of the Go Rhino, uh, Go Rhino push bumper. Added that, uh, oh, jeez. Four months ago, maybe something like that. Maybe less. Three months ago. Um, the spotlight, the bar was here when I bought the car, but there was no handle and no light. So we, my girlfriend actually ended up buying me, uh, that for Christmas when I first got the car. But, um, other than that, how you see it is pretty much how I bought it, really. Nothing's changed besides the push bumper and the spotlight. I added a few little things in here, like I added the, the car, a uh, little police interceptor badge over here. This light was already up here, Worked works pretty good, and just uh, super bright at night, which is great. But um, it needed a new bulb, how to replace that. Uh, back seat is great, plenty of room. I've had uh, five people in here, and they all fit pretty comfortably. Um, I mean, there's really nothing too much to say. The interior is pretty bland. I can't, like, show you anything on my, you know, head unit or anything. I have just a regular factory head unit, which I do want to swap out eventually. Uh, keep my flashlight over here. You know, nighttime, whatever. It's always good to have a flashlight on you. I've been on a couple weird NJ trips, and that always comes with me. Um... I'm not going to do a startup on this, this video at least, I just really don't feel like it to be honest with you, but um, I guess I'll show you under the hood, oh. once again, nothing special, pretty much just the way I bought it. Oh. It's got the... 4.6 modular V8 no issues with it no weird noises no nothing runs like a top it's got 103,000 miles I bought it with 81 but uh it's been great not a single problem with the motor these cars are known to get you know go for a lot of miles actually wrong I had to uh Replace my intake manifold. That I had to do. That was a little pricey. But it's a common problem in these. It all happens, and I knew it was probably going to happen eventually, so it's not like it was something that was unexpected. But, um, yeah, it runs great. Everything's the same. I, th I think they're all original hoses and everything. I do, in time, want to swap out the hoses with the blue silicone ones. But, um, we'll see what happens with that. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet pretty expensive but um yeah pretty much it I guess I'll show you the trunk nothing special back here either just uh all my maintenance records in there That's the, the Hanes or Chillins you know yeah the Hanes keep my coolant some just random shit case you know keep my cleaner back there uh some extra oil it doesn't even leak oil i don't know why i even have it but uh it's got a full spare which is nice 
it's not matching tar the other ones I actually bought this from the junkyard so but whatever it's a spare tire I could care less but um yeah it's a big trunk nothing really back here I keep it empty in case I gotta put stuff back here but um it came with the trunk pack police trunk pack I didn't buy this and there's actually Kevlar on it in the back right in here in the back there's Kevlar I mean not like I'm ever gonna need it but it's kinda cool to have I guess there's the fuel pump Shut off switch. Not exactly sure what that's for. I think that's to reset the fuel pump. I'm not sure. There's the uh, emergency pull. If you're you're trapped in the trunk, you pull it. But um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. It runs uh runs great. I bought it with 81 and it now has 103, so I've, you know, I've put some miles on this car and it's been absolutely great driving it. Nighttime is great, especially on like the highway or I'm in Georgia, so it'd be the parkway. Driving down the parkway or, you know, going down like uh, 195 real late at night, everyone moves out of your way. During the daytime, it's a little bit different because they can, they can see you, but during nighttime, all they can see is, you know, see his headlights. And uh, they move right out of your way. The cops don't harass me either. I never get harassed by the police, which is good. I thought when I bought it, I was going to get uh, harassed by the cops, but not the case. But, uh, yeah, it runs great. It's been a great car. I'll post another, a few other videos up. With it running, maybe I'll do a couple, uh, you know, driving around town with it or something. But, maybe at nighttime too, I'll show the spotlight, you know, shit like that. But, uh, that's pretty much it. That's, um, uh, that's my car, and, uh, I guess have a great day.